what is happening this crazy here and in this video what I'm doing is I'm showing European PlayStation 3 users how to get Counter-Strike Global Offensive even though the game isn't out the European store yet but I'm just going to show you basically a quick method and for once I've put the same thinking outside the box to use so basically I'm just going to run over and show you guys the PlayStation store the Europe version and anyway the method that I use to get Counter-Strike early is I guess you could say it's kind of an awkward method, method but if you want to get it it's easy enough so anyway this is the the Europe version of the PS3 store I'm just going to type in Counter Strike then I'll explain the method here to get it um so basically oh fuck alright so basically how to get it is what you want to do is go ahead and create a European um create an American account like select all your re right you need to make a new an account uh you need to make a new account alright go ahead click on create new user create a new one select the region the country or region as a United States because they already have it and the European users don't so go ahead I'm just gonna sign into my American account I just made that a few seconds ago so anyway I typed in counter strike on that account that doesn't work I'm just gonna wait for this to sign in and I'll explain the message here sorry you guys I'm just kind of trying to make this as fast as I can I know I'm like fucking up in a few words but basically if I was to slow down this video could take 10 minutes or longer so anyway you want to go ahead and make an American account instead of making alright so select your region as an American address so I'm just going to type in the password alright so there is actual there is an actual legit address in, in Alabama in Anistown so Anistown so what you want to do is when you're creating your American account is that you need to make a legit address otherwise it won't work so the easiest way to find a legit address is go ahead on google type in a hotel in whatever state or province you select you can just go ahead and select what um just go ahead and look it up on google and uh, a hotel in alabama it'll give you a legit address go ahead type that in and when you're making the account you need to do it not afterwards you need to make sure that you select your country or region as the united states and everything else just make so basically make it look like you're over in America and then the PlayStation will pick up that you're over there instead of being in Europe. So what I'm gonna do now is show you the American store. <laughs> so pretty much the Europe store looks pretty outdated. This is the American store and it looks it's you can say newer with a new layout and shit. So straight away on screen you can see Counter Strike. Um fucking that's just mad. So you do have Counter Strike in it. So <laughs> basically this is just an easier way for Europeans to get Counter Strike even though the game isn't out yet so you just go ahead make an American account get the American store alright go ahead and buy your Counter Strike so <laughs> anyway I actually thought of this literally like five minutes ago checked if it worked and then decided to make a video so anyway as you can see my wallet funds are at zero dollars so on my European account I actually do have 20 euros in it so what that means is I can't transfer a wallet funds from one account to another which is pretty fucked up so anyway I know it is kinda bad that uh, if you already if you already put in your PSN what is it store credit whatever the fuck it's called if you already put in your PSN fuck what is that called I'm gonna call it PSN credit fuck it I'm just gonna call it credit so Anyway, on your European account, if you've already put in your twenty dollars, if you've already put in your twenty euros into your account, you cannot bring it over to to another account. Or unless you haven't put it in yet, you can go ahead and put it into your American account. Go ahead and confirm the purchase, and you will have Counter Strike. And um, I'm just gonna show you quickly that you can download stuff from the store, and it will work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download this wallpaper. Oh, PS3, come on. Load up. Alright, so my PS3 like froze for five seconds and I'll just go ahead and download the wallpaper. So there it is, it's downloading. As you can see, you can download stuff from the American store. And anyway, this has been crazier, and I'm out. And I just want to show European PS3 users an easy way. Not really easy though, it's kind of a bit of a hassle, because you have to get a legit address, you have to change all your region to America. 
or United States, whatever one. And anyway, the sh kind of shit thing, thing uh, the kind of shit thing about this is, if you've put in your, I guess you could say PS3 credit in your European account, you can't put it in this. Or if you want to stick with your European account and you're not really horny to play Counter Strike, you don't want to play it. If you're not really desperate to play it, you're just gonna wait till it comes out in the European store, which is what I'm doing. As I'm not gonna go ahead and buy another play. I can't even buy dollars. If I was to buy the PSN credit down my local shop, I wouldn't be able to get it because it is it's uh, it's in euros, not in dollars. So it's pretty much hassle. You either you either need to use a credit card if you want to buy it on your yeah fuck. Basically, oh shit, that's kind of came up to my head, I didn't think about that. So if you are to go ahead and buy it in your local shop, it's going to be in euros if you're in Europe. So you need to use a credit card to buy it, or if you want, you can just do what I'm doing and wait until it comes out in the Europe version. Oh god, this way is such, <laughs> it's such hassle because you have to go ahead, make a new account, change your address, then you have to go ahead, get your credit card, make sure that there's money on your credit card, type it in, add wallet funds to it, twenty dollars whatever if you can have fifteen that'll be easier and then that's it so anyway I hope I explained this as best as possible if you have any questions leave them down below as I know I kinda rushed the video and didn't explain as much as I wanted to oh and also there it's fucking just a, another thing came to my head um, I was guessing you could do this if you are friends with any Americans just go ahead and ask them can you game share the thing get them to game share it with you so then you'll have the thing on your account instead of going ahead and paying by credit card just so you can get Counter Strike for free basically. So then um what you should do then is after you game share off the Americans, go ahead and check if you can play it on your European account. And if you can't play it on your European account you should most definitely be able to play it on your American account that you made. So anyway, this has been crazier and I'm out and if you have any questions just leave them down in the comment section like I said.